On brothers and sisters, all praises to the most high. This this video is for it's a little rant. And this this I want you to hear me well when I talk about this. I, I was I, I was thinking about this thought, and this is really a thought. How we're worried about what Diddy is doing. We're worried about what celebrities are doing. We're worried about what famous people are doing and their sin or sins are being exposed. What about your sin? This is nothing but a distraction for the Israelites to focus on what's going on over there. To focus on what Hollywood is doing. Focus on what celebrities are doing. Exposure in 2024. What 2024 is almost over with. We got to go back to reality. I don't care what Diddy is doing. I don't care what celebrities are doing, what Hollywood is doing. You know what I've been doing? Reading these commandments. Studying these commandments. Repenting of my sin. Because look, let's have a transparent moment for a minute. When we don't get in this book, when we don't get in this, these holy scriptures, when we don't fast and pray, when we don't get before the most high. Even being an Israelite. We can fall back into the same stuff. Our thoughts have to be renewed. We have to we have to get ourselves together. Quit getting caught up in what Hollywood is doing and, and you on social media making all these comments and all invested in what they are doing that they brought this chaos, this tumult, tumult into your life so you can stay out of that book. Find yourself sowing discord among the brethren. Find yourself committing sin. Spreading false rumors. The commandments talk about that. This deception is deep for us not to get in these book in this book and these commandments and, and learn about ourselves. Some of y'all like this. Where the light is on you. The bright light is on you. Let me see if I can do this. The bright light is on you. Please forgive me. I'll make a little noise here. I'm trying to make a point. The light is on you. I got my spotlight here. The light is on you. But we get an opportunity to focus on Diddy and, and Hollywood and somebody else is seeing all of a sudden we happy. Because no longer the light is on you. The light is on and ain't on you no more. But it's okay for the light to be on you. Because those commandments in the scriptures will find you out. Those commandments and scriptures will so and show you that you need to be clean, that you need to, 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 to be holy and righteous. Quit focusing on other people's stuff. 
and learn that this ain't nothing but a distraction. And some of y'all are like that. You know, I'm, I'm worried about Diddy, what he doing. I'm just using Diddy now because he's in the news. I'm worried about all these other celebrities. Now Hollywood is being exposed. And what about you? What about your sins, bro? Sis, what about your sin? What about your sin? Cheating on your taxes. Claiming somebody else's kids. Fornication and adultery. Lying. Saying you separated because so you can get the percentage of income program for your electric bill and gas bill. Saying you make less money so you can get welfare. I could go on and on. It's, it's a lot of stuff that we are doing. Bearing false witness. We better stop, man. And getting these commandments and getting these scriptures. Because when it's all said and done, when Diddy and, 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 and remember, we was all on R. Kelly at one point. Remember Bishop Eddie Long at one point. We was all on that stuff. Now they, all that stuff is, those two situations are gone. Diddy's going to be gone too. He's going to, his situation going to be dissolved some kind of way too. But then he's going to come right back to us. He's going to come right back to, to me. I got to look in the mirror and, 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 and make sure that I am. What, what, what you going to do? The light's going to come right back on you, bro. And then we better understand. Then we better understand. And you better hear me well when I read this verse. Zechariah chapter number 13. And verse number eight and nine. And it shall come to pass. 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 That in all the land saith Yah. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say. It is my people and they shall say that Yah is my my Elohim. Yah is calling for Israel to repent. He's trying to restore Israel. But we want to focus on everything else. Matter of fact, let me give you one more. Psalm 83. Psalm 83. They, 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 they're bringing chaos. Psalm 83. Let's look at, I can read all of it. Verse two, for lo, thy enemies make a tumult. They bring chaos. They bring all this distraction. Thy enemies make a tumult. You read the rest of it. They're bringing all this distraction to keep you out of that book. To keep you thinking that you're okay. That we're okay if I continue to be in my sin. If I continue to do what I want to do and God will be okay with it. You know what y'all would say? You know, you know, depart from me. I never knew you. Because we got the, the oppressor's doctrine and Christianity to tell me that we can live any kind of way we want. Oh, who, who judge you? You can't judge me. You, you know, why are you judging? He without seeing cast the first stone got a crutch. To do what you want to do. But but Yah is calling you to repent. Come back to him. Shalom.